Hello and welcome to the AIM podcast. This is where we interview the leaders of the AIDC industry. AIM is Global Industry Alliance for stakeholders of RFID, barcoding, smart devices, and other automatic identification and data capture technologies, and supporting blockchain, IoT, and RTLS applications. We represent all industries and organizations that use, implement, resell, or develop technology. We are essential to enabling adoption, growth, and interoperability to those who depend on accurate, available, and identifiable data. With that being said, I'm here with the president of AIDC 100, Ernesto Castagne. Welcome to the podcast, Ernesto. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much for um, sharing this moment. So to start, can you give me a brief background of your career and how it led you to get involved in the AIDC industry? Oh, yes. Uh, when I was an industrial engineering student at Universidad Nacional del Sur, Bahia Blanca, Argentina, the professor of operations research gave us, the students, several magazines to read. One of them was Scientific American, with an article uh, mentioning bars and spaces. I was so amazed by the article that after reading it, I said to myself, this is what I want to do the rest of my life. I immediately envisioned the potential of the barcode in particular and automatic identification and data capture technologies in general to change our lives. Great. And as mentioned earlier, congratulations on your appointment to president of AIDC 100. Tell me about the organization and what are some of your roles and responsibilities? Yes. Well, many of the founders of our AIDC industry gave life 27 years ago, exactly in May, 17, 1997, to the AIDC 100 organization. We are a not-for-profit, self-sustaining, non-political, international organization of automatic identification and data capture professionals and others who have significantly contributed to the growth and advancement of the industry. The organization is a technical and business resource with emphasis on education whose primary goal is to enlarge the business community's knowledge and understanding of AIDC, comprising, and you said it before, technologies such as barcode, magnetic stripe, smart cards, RFID, DPM, stands for direct part marking, OCR, stands for optical character recognition, touch memories, also called one wire, biometrics, only biometrics is face recognition, iris recognition, hand geometry recognition, fingerprint recognition, other recognition, DNA recognition, signature recognition, voice recognition, step walk cadence, etc. Wireless technologies and, well, many others. I mentioned the most important. My role on, on the organization is to lead it through these dynamic changes occurring today. Uh, my responsibilities are to lead and push the different internal committees so that each one fulfills their role, whether these are finance, marketing and communication, innovation or education, membership, memoirs, legacy, projects. For instance, the idea of establishing an AIDC museum at the web page, the AIDC 100 collection at the Stony Brook University Library, being liaison with AIM and other organizations, GS1, to sponsors, representing and promoting our institution at different trade shows and our other organizations. Uh, we, as the Hall of Fame of AIDC technology, Many of these committees are led by uh, our board members. So how has the AIDC 100 evolved over the last several years? Ah, a good question. Uh, I would say we're in transit point where the inventors and inventions of technologies in commercial use, tested and proved to be excellent for the last 50 years, are faced with newer versions of them or newer products that have become commercially available due to lower costs, more production, or simply more user-friendly. 
but they will all share efficiencies. Each of the, I, the AI, DC technology, has its niche, and I do not foresee any of them disappearing as of today. An example may be Sunrise 2027, an initiative brought by GS1, the International Barcode Standards Organization, as an update to its standards, where all its industry members will be shifting from 1D to uh, accept 2D at point of sales locations after well, 2027. Um, for uh, you to know, uh, a linear or 1D UPC AM barcode always encodes an item's global trade item number, what's called GTIN, a unique number that distinguishes the item and manufacturer. No longer country after 2005 sunrise. The new GS1 Sunrise standard will mean that, as well as GTINs, the dimensional 2D barcodes can include additional and dynamic data, such as URLs or URLs, uh, location data, batch numbers, or expiration dates. The move to data matrix and QR codes, uh, I would say, will bring incredible value in terms of the amount of data they can encode. But uh, more than that, they are part of a wider movement to make data capture smarter. Looking at the future of barcodes, we can imagine all kinds of new innovations that could help consumers, retailers, and suppliers benefit from access to more information. And this is only an example uh, with barcodes. Similarly, we can talk about RFID and how its use in the industry has become popular, thanks to the advancement of technology. What was uh, previously infeasible, reading an RFID tag underwater or attached to metal, for instance, is now commonplace. Incorporating newer technologies and or applications such as IoT, Internet of Things, and its variants, uh, IIoT, CIoT, blockchain, cryptography, AI, hmm, artificial intelligence, etc. Uh, it's a must. Great, so yeah, it definitely evolved a lot over the last several years. So with that being said, what are your goals for AIDC 100 and where do you see things headed in the next several years? Uh, I would say six goals for a six year plan, just to begin talking or answering the question. Our organization has 27 years, but it's not well known worldwide. So positioning AIDC 100 internationally, I would say it's goal number one. Uh, her second goal is to establish, I mentioned it before, an AIDC 100 museum. Our members are not in the Hall of Fame out of friendship, but because they have somehow generated an advance in science, which has improved the quality of life for all of humanity on a daily basis in ways that are not yet understood. This is very important. The idea is to show maybe primitive devices for new generations to play, to entertain more than to learn. And that's a lesson I would like to uh, share with you. A third goal is to find new talents for the Hall of Fame from all around the world, not only from the US. Uh, fourth goal is to promote a global barcode day Instead, you know, since last year, a National Barcode Day. In the US, it's instituted June 26th. And to institute also an AIDC 100 award. I think those are the two things that uh, comprise goal number four. Goal, fifth goal, rebranding or refocusing our AIDC 100 organization. And the sixth goal for the six year plan is to establish university scholarship to encourage uh, our youth to become involved and grow of this industry. So how does someone become a member of AIDC 100? Mm. 
Michael, another good question. <laughs> Only through nomination by other AIDC 100 members. The 100 number comes from the idea at the very beginning of the organization to have only 100 members. And when one member passed away, there was a place for a new one. After some years, and with the strong advancement, advancement of science and technology, we began to incorporate people who stood out for the products and systems they developed with high impact in the industry. The innovative companies they created shaping a new world, or the passion for transmitting and developing that innovation or that innovative social consciousness in uh, what we want to bring, young people. New members can be inventors, implementers, or educators. Great. And shifting to your thoughts on the industry as a whole, how can our industry attract new talent? Oof. Um, let's start saying that AIDC has to do with the history of innovation that leads to technology that make the world what it is today. Mm, something developed 27 years ago is happening today. Now, well, how do we motivate that young generation at school to do and take the risk to do what we did, it's really a challenge. And for them, these young people, uh, an opportunity. Actions like uh, creating a museum where they can play, I would say learning by entertaining, or standing by them with mentoring, bringing angel investors or other activities are ways of attracting uh, new talents, no? Great. And from your perspective, what do you see as the greatest challenges to the AIDC industry on a global basis? Mm. AIDC systems are meant to reduce error. We know we make mistakes or take decisions based on inaccurate information and facilitate more accurate decision making in more real time and with less human intervention. Efforts done in using artificial intelligence as a mean to reduce error rates and make correct decisions faster, faster sorry, are really desired. But we have to find places for humans to feel comfortable about using AI in appropriate ways. So I would say that that's one of the greatest challenge uh, on a global basis. And what do you see as the greatest opportunities for the AIDC industry? Make life easier. <laughs> and I can mention many examples. Automatic identification and data capture devices are part of system of a system that comprises communicating these devices to other devices transmitting accurate data that are taken by information systems to generate knowledge on something somewhere in or out of this planet. Just this is what comes up to my mind. And then what do you see as the next big thing or trend in the AIDC industry? Oh, I would say this is an open question, really. Uh, I would say as one of our members, Jack Householder once said, next is probably what AI brings in the future, which is very uncertain at this stage, really very uncertain. And uh, I remember Jack tried to develop a visual which embodies the world of auto ID, RFID, NFC, networking, IoT, IIoT, Industrial Internet of Things, Big Data, and Artificial Intelligence. I would say AI cannot exist and there is big data, which only happens with a substantial base of data gathering, being networked together and accumulated in a logical, organized manner from which in-depth analysis can thrive. Um, out of all that thinking, Perception and action can be developed, from my point of view, in the AI space. 
Well, thank you, Ernesto, again, for your time and insights today. Greatly appreciated. And I also want to congratulate you again on being uh, becoming the AIDC 100 president. We are really looking forward to seeing what AIDC 100 does moving forward. Thank you. You're welcome. And of course, AIM is a great uh, organization and we stand by, by AIM. Thank you, Michael.